Hello guys, tonight Dinamo Zagreb is playing in playoff against Bodo, playoff for Champions League, like in my save, yeah. In this video I will show you the best tactic and we are going to check the best players of Dinamo Zagreb in FM 2022. You see I won in my game 4-2, it was a really interesting match, Bodo was leading 2-0, then we scored 4 goals, yeah, really fantastic match. I mean, we all know that Dinamo Zagreb is the best club in Croatian first league and that have really nice players. Uh, also some great wounders later, we are going to check them. I won the league very easy, had only 3 losses, 5 draws, 28 wins, 89 uh, points, uh, that's 15 more than Hajduk in the second place. Uh, Mislav Orsic, average rating 7.66, also he was a player of the, uh, my best assistant, yeah. Okay, uh, now check general performance with this tactic, guys. Um, scoring 2.33 uh, goals per game, uh, conceding 0 0.83, so this is not bad. Okay, uh, pass completion ratio almost 90%. And now let's check the tactic, guys. So, I would play like this, actually. I played like this, and this was my first team, yeah. On the goal, we have Livakovic, who is uh, the best goalkeeper, sweeper keeper, and uh, he is the number one. Right side, I choose uh, Kevin Theopil, uh, this French wing back. Uh, he's 32 right now, after first season, yeah. But still, um, he's, he still has some nice attributes, and this is why I decided to use him on the right side. Uh, then Peric and Shutalo. We have Shutalo, who is okay, central defender. He's fast, he's good in the air. I like him, and we have Peric, uh, I mean, there is one problem with Peric, he's very slow for some serious football, and uh, this is why I didn't play with the high defensive line, yeah, I played with standard defensive line, check his acceleration, only 8, uh, but, he had, uh, but he has some incredible technical attributes, like heading, tackling, marking, and he's very strong, this is the reason, the main reason why I put him in the first team, yeah. On the left side, we have Franic, uh, who can play as a uh, left back, uh, as I know, Dinamo Zagreb sold him in real life, so he, he he's not playing anymore for Dinamo. Then, Ademi is a ball winning mister in the middle, um, player with some awesome mental attributes and box to box mystery. I don't see better player for this position. That's Amar Goyak. Uh, fantastic natural fitness. We need player who can run some team player, and this is the reason why I use him. Uh, then Ivan Ushets is a winger on the right side, player who can play everywhere. I mean, in the middle. He can play uh, as a shadow strike, he can play as inside four on both sides. But I still decide to use him on the right side as a winger, a fantastic speed, balanced dribbling. Uh, this is the main reason. Then Petkovic is a shadow striker. Yeah, he can play as a striker, he can play as a shadow striker. But still I wanted to play with him as a shadow striker, someone who's going to looking for a free space. While Andrić, also player who is sold in real life, is going to play as advanced forward. Yeah. Uh, then on the left side we have a uh, famous fave, Mislav Orsic, probably the best player of Dinamo Zagreb with this physical attributes, with this speed, a uh, really adorable player, plus long shots, 17, yeah, this is great. Okay, uh, now let's check all the players, and at the end we are going to check current and potential ability of each player, we see that the best player of the current ability, 151, is actually Dominic Livakovic, goalkeeper, yeah, really classy, one-on-ones, reflexes, throwing, uh, then second is Mislav Orsic, we spoke about him, inverted winger with a current ability 1 and 38, uh, Bruno Petkovic is there, third player, Ademi with a 1 and 35, then Luke Ivanusic, uh, 23 years old, uh, still can improve, yeah, his potential 1 and 46, uh, but let's see, do we have some young players, uh, we have Marko Bulat, pay attention to this kid, potential ability 1 and 42, can improve a lot, uh, current ability 1 and 16, you can shape him, Okay, uh, then we have Josip Shutov, like he's playing in first team, guys. His potential 1 and 49, uh, current ability 1 and 29. Really interesting kid, yeah. And he's 22, he's going to improve. But let's check uh, second team. I think we have one uh, fantastic player there, and his name is Ivan Sharanić. Check this wonder kid, guys. Check him. Price between 5 and 6 million, and he's wanted by Manchester United. Unbelievable kid, yeah, he can play in the middle, he can play as a winker, 
uh, all of these some classy attributes like vision, like passing technique, and he's only 19 years old, plus potential ability, 160, yeah. So you can, you need to pay attention to him. Uh, he must get some minutes in the first team, that would be really nice. Uh, if you want to keep him, try to renew contract at the beginning of the season, because he's the future of Dinamo Zagreb, that's for sure. The other players are not uh, worth of attention. Now let's check under 19 squad. Even there we have some interesting kids like this. Maro Katlins, the central ball playing defender. Incredible physical attributes, speed, jumping, everything. Yeah, uh, plus not bad tackling, marking, heading. So also needs some minutes in the first team. Yeah, he's 18 years right now. And we see that he's wanted by Osic. Paris Sergeant, man, end of contract. Yeah, I need to renew his contract. I didn't do this at the beginning of the season. Uh, the other players uh, don't have such a great potential. Maybe Moreno Živković, he's not bad with the potential 135. Or Fran Chuljak, yeah, potential 133. Anyway, Dinamo Zagreb always had some incredible wonder kits. And this is why uh, it's really interesting to manage in FM 2022.